The review for today is Friday the 13th, part 8 with the ship. If I can find the clips since I lost my DVD tour. Hi, it's uh, October 8th, 2012, and this is my 8th uh, movie view. I'm starting to get comments now, so I'm happy, happy, happy. People are getting their shoutouts. They're happy, happy, happy. Um, I couldn't find a clip, well, not a clip, a move, the, 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 the movie review that I'm, okay, I'm White Cats Vlogs, by the way. The movie review that I'm doing today, I couldn't find the movie on YouTube, which I thought was weird, and I have the DVD somewhere, I just don't know where, because I lost it, I got the whole box set to Friday the 13th, and there's two movies on each disc, and then I went and bought the Friday the 13th in 3D, so I have two of those, and I couldn't, f my, okay, I have two favorite Friday the 13th that I like watching. The two that I like watching is Friday the 13th Part 2 and Friday the Part Friday the 13th Part 8. Um, with the ship uh, takes uh, Friday the 13th takes Manhattan. Uh, Jason takes Manhattan or takes Manhattan. Something to do with New York. Anyways. I cannot find it worth anything. So if you find a clip, or not clip, if you find the movie, please send it to me in a, the link to the in a PM, and I will give you a shout out thanking you for the life of me. Um, because I was gonna download it onto my computer until I could find my DVD, as that one's my favorite. Part two is also my favorite. But, um, Part 8's the best. Friday the 13th is what... Now, I know there was movies that came out before Friday the 13th and everything, but Friday the 13th is what started it for horror movies for me. And for slashers and everything else. And I love Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th used to scare the shit ones out of me. Where, every time I see his mask, I'd get really scared. I would have to have all the lights on, and every time you tried to kill someone, I'm like this the whole time. But now when I watch those movies, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, he just put that in his eye. Big deal, big deal. But the mask still scares me. If I see it at night, I can't sleep. I have to turn on every single light in the downstairs, and I won't be able to sleep until that mask, until I don't have him in my mind why I sleep with the TV on because if I don't that's all I think about is him and that's a good thing because I love getting scared I love horror movies I love getting scared I get scared easily so you know it's the best to get scared and we have this thing here where I live downtown where it's called zombie night where the zombies, people dress up like zombies and scare people downtown late at night. And it's the funniest thing ever. I've never been. But I found out we just had ours and I was like, dang it. Because that would have been something cool to go check out for the first time. Not something my mom would probably want to do though. But anyways. Um, anyways, so the one I'm doing today is... Friday the 13th Part 8, because I, even though I haven't seen it in forever, I still know what it's about, because I've seen it that many times. And it's about where Jason goes to New York. He goes on this little boat where this guy's telling a story about this girl, or to this girl about him. And then, this is when I think... I know on um, the remake... That's when he gets his mask, but... No, in the remake, he gets his mask. I'm getting two to two confused. I keep thinking on this little boat, that's when he gets his mask. But then that's number eight, and he has his mask in number three. 
I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself. I think number eight is when he gets a new mask. Not a mask, but a new mask, I believe. I know he gets a mask on that bow. I know he does. I just... Correct me if I'm wrong, but anyways. Then he's roaming around Manhattan at first, and people think it's just um, for Halloween, a hoax, but when they, the ma the, there's the makings of it too, and they said that when they were filming certain spots in New York, pe people didn't even care, they didn't, they just go, a lot, they said a lot of people would comment, go, oh, you're shooting a new Jason movie, new Friday of the Teeth, cool, can't wait to see it, bro, at least I know it's in New York City. But, anywho, and then the next, and then he gets on this cruise ship with a bunch of people, and nobody realizes this guy is on this cru cruise ship killing people. Because he would kill them when they were by themselves, and nobody would actually be looking for them until they see a dead body, and they're like, oh no! But I can't tell you how it ends or how he gets off the ship or what happens. I can just t tell you it's a cruise ship. And why, and I love that they decided to do one on there. Because that one's my favorite. God, my nose is itching like a bitch. Anyways, the thing that scared me was that five years ago, before my dad passed away in August, we went to a cruise we went as a whole family on a cruise ship when my nephew was two. And it was, it, I told my mom, I said, if we get one, let's get one without a window. Because if we get one with a window, you can't, it'll be dark. And you don't have shades that you can actually cover it with. And I would think of Jason Voorhees and... Number eight, when um, he would come through the window and grab that woman or just... No, I don't want to think about that. But I thought about it a lot when I was on that cruise ship of when he did it in the movie. The only Jason movie that really bores me is Jason Goes to Hell. Because you only see him for a split second at the starting. And the whole trailer is about the first part of that movie. They don't even show the a trailer of the whole movie to make you think that that's the whole movie and it's not because Jason's not even in the rest of the movie it's somebody else doing the killing because they have his spirit inside of them and then they do Jason X which is him going up to space and then he turns into a robot that's boring as hell I don't like those two but Jason versus Freddy that's another favorite of mine and if you want me to do a movie review on <clears throat> any of the movies that I'm talking about in this movie review, part two, Jason vs. Freddy, or the one I hate, which is Jason Goes to Hell, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want me to do any other scary movies, comment down below. And I think right now I'm going to go look up that witches movie for tomorrow. And see what that's all about. And see if I would like it or not. Since two people are asking me to do a review on it. Thank you and bye.